All right, folks, today we are going to take a look at the Crane 2S combo version and what you will get in the box if you get this or the standard. Also going to take a look at if it's even worth paying the extra 50 bucks for the Crane 2S combo or the standard model. Lastly, we are going to take a look at the back motor or the extension for the back motor and why this is so overlooked in many reviews. So let's get started and see what we got in this video. Here we go. All right, as I said, we are going to dive into the box of the Shuen combo version, which is right here on the table, and the Crane 2S is right here on the side. One thing I wanna show you, which is pretty important, and that is the back motor right here, and we're going to talk a bit about that, because on many of the reviews, the back motor is blocking the screen, and I've got this question, is that, why aren't your motor blocking the screen? And I can tell you why. When I got the um, pre-production model, uh, it was like this and the extension was on the side so therefore I knew that I could switch it out but I think many of the pre-production models that were sent out were with the extension on so people didn't know that you could take it off and lower the motor so it wouldn't block the screen therefore I think many of the reviews goes out saying it's it's a bit of a pain in the ass that is blocking the screen but there's a fix for that you can take it off and lower the motor to the 45 angle uh, which we love on all the other gimbals. All right, let's dive into the box and see what we got and what you will get when you buy the combo. So again, you will get a big, nice, wide box here and it's a bit bigger than the pre-production model and I'll tell you why. If we open it up, this is what we get. Just need to adjust the shot. We got an overhead camera today. Um, this is the layout of the box and one of the good things that they have done is that they have made it so that it will fit with the, um, with the extension on and off. You can see it will fit right here and if you have the extension on, which is this one right here, the extension, there's a, there's a, they have carbon out here for the motors, so the motor will be up here instead. So really nice that they have made the box so it will fit both options because I think many will use it with the extension off but again it comes with the extension on and it's a uh, bit of a puzzle to get this on and off but it, it can be done then you'll get a an extra height plate for uh, hefty lenses if you have big lenses on and one of the things you'll get on the combo is that you'll get two sets of batteries instead of one and the other thing you will get on the combo is the side handle right here and I think this is very necessary when you buy a, gam a gimbal is this side handle here. So it's very nice that they've included this in one of their combos. What else will you get? You'll get a charger, you'll get the tripod legs right here, which has a new design on the inside here. I'm not a big fan of this one because it's a little bit on the small side for this gimbal. I'm currently using a couple of Fiotech legs and you can see it is just a tiny bit bigger and a bit beefier, which makes it more stable. And the best ones I've actually used on this gimbal is for the uh, Crane 3 Lab or the Crane 3S, which just works perfectly because then you get a really wide base for the Crane 2S. Then we have a nice big base plate right here. It's a Manfrotto standard plate, so that is great as well. And right over here we have the um, thing that goes on here to put the base plate on. There we go. And then you have a uh, lens support. That's what's in the box and it's pretty standard, but that's what you get. So the extra thing you'll get, you'll get extra set of batteries and you'll get this grip. So is it worth it, the extra 50 bucks? Yeah, I would say it is because you will get this handle right here. But again, there is an alternative and it's right over here. This one is from A Gimbal Gear and this one I've been used for all of my gimbals. It's a great one and it only costs 32 bucks. So you save about 20 bucks if you buy this one instead of the combo version. It is nearly the same size, there isn't much of a difference. But on this one you have a lot of mounting points 
down the side so you can mount anything you want on this right here. But again, the grip here is pretty nice made, so I like this one. So if you just buy the combo, you're pretty well off. One thing I like is that they have made it a little bit smaller than the old one. You can see the old one I have right here. And the size comparison. I never liked that they had this extension right here. So this is just a tiny bit too big uh, for me. So this one is a nice grip right here and you have this on. You can take this one off, I will take it off. But it works perfectly. Yeah, so that is what you'll get in the uh, combo if you buy the Shoe and Crane 2S combo version. Um, yeah, not much to it. This video is not going to be that much longer. If you got any questions uh, at all about the Crane 2S, you can just drop them down below. Uh, because I am currently working on my Gimbal Academy and that takes all of my time. So today is kind of a short video. So sorry guys, but more is coming. Future-wise, uh, I know that you are asking for the um, dual handle grip for the Weevil S. And I'm working on this system right here. And you can see I got the follow focus motor from, uh, it's a live air, it's called P PD Movie has sent me this one. And I'm missing one part right here and it should be in the mail next week. So hold on, it's coming. The uh, crane, you know, the Weevil S dual handle video, I know a lot of you want to see that. All right, guys, that is it. Um, yeah, I really don't have any more to say today. If you want to see my first impression video of the Crane 2S, I will link it in the description and in the card above. Until next time, stay creative and stay safe because COVID is all over the, all over the world again and we had a close call in my family. So uh, yeah, watch out out there. It's not a fun thing. Uh, we, I hope this pandemic will go away soon because I miss traveling, I have to say, yeah. And the ski season is right around the corner and do not wanna miss that. All right, guys, I don't have any more for you. As I said, stay creative and stay safe. And if you can, go out and shoot some dope videos. See you next time, bye.